Yar has been very busy since she was last on the show. I should say her year has already kicked off with a bang. She is now, of course, an executive producer, owns her production company. She's doing so many things. Please welcome back to the show actress, producer, activist Yara Shahidi and her equally talented Grownish co star, the very charming and amazing musician, too, Trevor Jackson. Good to see you both. What's up? Good to see you. And Hi, Tara. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just imagine what life is like off camera when you are shooting the show. Just the chemistry with this cast, Yara. I can't get enough of it. It's it's so excellent. Please tell me behind the scenes it's as fun. Oh, it's so wonderful. I mean, Trevor, for example, I don't know how, but he knows exactly what I'm thinking at any given moment. And so I, I think... <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> best parts are... We'll be making direct eye contact in the middle of a scene, having a separate conversation. Um, but I, I have to say it goes for the whole cast. Like, it's great to have a cast that you both love and you like. Right. And, and Trevor, so it, it is a treat. I don't want to be superficial here, but it might be the most beautiful cast on any TV show. Hands down. Every Jeez. single one of you, as talented as you are, are all just gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. You are beautiful as well. <laughs> well, let's get to the work then. Listen, Yara, mm -hmm. I just saw the big headline. You and your mother teaming up for a comedy series, Smokeland. You have a production company. Tell is Smokeland, the premise is you're following this young entrepreneur launching her cannabis company. Yeah. Who came up with the concept? This idea really blossomed from a kernel that the writer Joel McPherson had. And I think it really took over eight months of development. And we are so excited by this show uh, because you really hit on its head. It's really kind of cross the intersection of entrepreneurialism and the weed world in Oakland. Um, and it all goes back to this one young woman whose journey that we're watching. Yeah, so you and your mom, Carrie, who I've met and I adore your mother, teamed up on this. What is it like working with your mom? Oh, I mean, we're business partners anyway in life and also we're kind of the same person so <laughs> it really is wonderful to be in business together I, I mean we have really similar sensibilities and i think so much of production is the constant conversations of standing up for what you believe in or who you believe in and so i think it's necessary to have that kind of team amongst ourselves to be able to um gear up for whatever that conversation entails well trevor you're playing around with the hearts of all of your fans River, the Joni Mitchell remake, come on. That was Thank absolutely you. beautiful. You ended 2020 and kicked off 2021 with that. What made you decide to cover Joni Mitchell? Um, I just kept re-singing the song. And I actually saw Ben Platt singing the song as well on um, The Politician. And I was like, what is this song? And I did the research on it. And then my friends were like, if you keep singing, because I'll just be around the house or go anywhere we go, they're like, he's singing the River song again. They're like, just do it, just do it. I was like, all right. So uh, finally wanted to do it, and I love the video. I wanted to keep it simple. And um, yeah, it's a Christmas song, but heartbreak song too. We have a, an exclusive Tamron Hall sneak peek of your new video. It's called Just Friends. It drops yes. this mm -hmm. week. It's a little moody, steamy, it beautiful. Week. It's artistic. Tell me about this. So yeah, this is directed by me and Arad. Um, in most of any videos that I do, I, I try and be as involved as I can. And I just kind of want cinematic, uh, thought-provoking, you know, images. Um, and this song being just friends, there's definitely some twists and turns. I, I never wanted to, uh, things to just be as they appear. I always want to dig a little deeper. So there's going to be some, some surprises in the video and I can't wait for the fans to see it. I was in the editing room forever trying to, trying to get it right. And um, I think we did it. Okay, well, it drops this week. I can't wait to see it. Now, I want to talk about the, the new season of Grownish, but real quick, tell me what's going on with Tinkerbell, um, Yara. I know that it was announced mm -hmm. that there would be the live adaptation of Peter Pan. You're set to play Tinkerbell. There has been some delays. Where does mm -hmm. that stand now? Yeah, I mean, everything has been delayed, of course, just thinking of COVID-safe procedure, but we have started just kind of the prep work. Um, and it's been really wonderful, really fun. Um, and a lot of it is m making me into motion capture. So mm. the process is digitizing me, uh, mm. which is kind of hilarious because you <laughs> sit in front of these crazy camera setups and have to do face like shapes just like this and stuff <laughs> for like an absurd That's amount tight. of time because they have to catch how your face moves. 
I love your post on Instagram about your character, Zoe, this season. You said from student to full-time stylist, the glow up and grow up is real. What are you seeing with Zoe this season in her life? Well, last time we saw her, uh, she felt so moved by Aaron's words. And after the juggling of work and school all semester, she chose to drop out. And so we pick up right there in the full swing of her job. And part of it is just the realization that while she is committed to her styling dream, that being out in the adult world is different than being in college. Um, and, and so it's really kind of what happens throughout the arc is watching her in this new juggling act of, of figuring out how to balance work with the other things that just matter to her. I love the scene with her and, and styling a celebrity who happens to be difficult. You are one of the most easygoing people I've ever met in my life. Trevor, uh -huh. they're saying we were at Essence Festival, you know, 40,000 young women screaming your name and you're just trying to wave and hi at all of them. Does it take you back, uh, Trevor, ever how successful this show is I mean, people compare it to a different world and then you found your own voice all of these seasons later, which is a flattering comparison to a different world, that legendary show that followed, you know, black college life. And then you guys picked up and brought your whole new spin. So I think at mm -hmm. first when I think about it, of, of course, I'm like uh, kind of taking it back. But then when I look around at the people that I get to work with, I'm not surprised at all. Uh, you know, like she was saying before, everybody's so talented, everybody's so kind, and that's the most important thing. We're, I think we're a good group of people who want the best for the world. We have good intentions, and I think that goes a long way. Um, and yeah, from the writers to, you know, wardrobe, everybody on set is, um, just the synergy is all there, so it, it makes sense. You talk about the, the, the goodness of the heart and intentions of everybody, but I don't know about Aaron anymore, your character. These love triangles, I, I think he's... <laughs> potentially going to run for office one day, and I see that, but his love life and drama. What's going on here? She plays my heartstrings. Uh, what? No, I, Aaron <laughs> causes all the drama. What are we going to do with Aaron, Trevor? I know you're just playing the character, but what are we going to do with him? I mean, you kind of saw uh, when he was finally able to say how he felt for about a year and a half, two years to her and uh, outside his dorm room. So I think he's growing up in the sense of um, being able to express his feelings, but... Zoe is difficult sometimes, I think, and it can be confusing, <laughs> as you saw at the last episode. I don't see it. How confusing was that? Um, so I don't know. <laughs> well, I do have to say, I feel like this season, um, like you're saying, la we ended last season just on this moment of, of Aaron talking to Zoe about the way their dynamic has worked. And it feels like we pick up in a place in which they're redefining their dynamic. Yeah. And it, it can be a bit uncomfortable. Um, oh, yes, it can. I end up really appreciating just some of the episodes in which they're figuring out what a friendship even looks like. Well, the show resonates yeah. because it's real. And so many people are going through the very same drama that Aaron is presenting in Zoe's life. Or is it Zoe presenting <laughs> in Aaron's <laughs> life? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you both for joining. Congratulations <laughs> on the production company, the new comedy coming out, Yara, the music. Trevor, I can't wait for you to drop this video. Appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you.